Hello again, Mac Vaughn here with another tech tip from Sonic Academy. In this uh, session, we're going to be looking at doing some vocal rearrangement in Sampler uh, using uh, setting up a kind of a, a step sequencing grid um, to manipulate the start uh, parameter uh, to get different uh, vocal patterns. Um, depending on what you're using it for, you could definitely glitch out your vocals. Um, I kind of use this to rearrange um, vocal loops so that way they're um, different than uh, one might normally use them, maybe out of a sample pack or if you're recording someone, a good way of getting uh, some really cool edits. So let's jump into it. Um, and I'm just working off this uh, project that's been kind of running through the uh, last few uh, tech tips. So I'm just going to keep keep running with it. Um, let's grab a vocal loop, uh, and there was one I was playing with uh, the other day. Where was it? That's not it. Ah, right, here we go. Um, Underground artists. They don't cool. I think that was the one. We get a MIDI clip going, and. Um, depending on how you want to do the um, editing, if you listen to the um, if you listen to the to the sample, I'll play it for you. Underground artists, they don't do it because they want to be famous, rich, wave their hands in the air. They make music because they love it. Underground art. So, just judging by the um, the the frequency of words. Um, I'm thinking a half note is going to be best uh, for this particular example, but you could try eighth notes, quarter notes, depending on how much you want to affect the uh, vocal. But for now, I'm going to do um, I'm going to do half notes. So let's get some of those in here, and we could even pitch it down by just bringing the vocal down a bit. Okay, so we'll go there. So right now, if we listen to it, we just get Underground Artist over and over again. Underground, 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 underground. So what I want to do is come up with a cool pattern that isn't the original, uh, that adds some variety to this, uh, this vocal loop. So I'm going to grab the start here. And when I do that, it's going to pull uh, the automation uh, parameter up. And let's start with... Um, and again, I'm going to do... I'm going to make my grid size uh, the same size as my notes. So like right here would be a um, uh, quarter note, but we're not doing quarter notes. So if I change the grid size, uh, I can manipulate these different uh, MIDI notes and determine where the start position is going to be. So let's try something like this. Underground hardness. Under underground hard underground hard hands in the air. So see, you can see we're already jumping uh, to different places in the um, the loop here to get a different um, uh, pattern. So it sounds like the samples are running a little over, so what I'll do is maybe pull these back now. Let's try that. So let's see here. So you see, you kind of kind of play with it a little bit, but once you get a cool pattern, 
You can run it with your loop. Let's try going just completely different with it. So, and again, you know, we can get in here and now we can play with these notes a little bit. So there you have it. And if you wanted to, you could easily just mute one section. Or maybe this one. And then you could extend this note. So there you go. And then essentially you can just turn it into, you know, kind of an atmospheric type loop and add effects to it. Maybe you could add a beat step to it. Where's the beat step? What's that thing? Beat repeat, you know, and just try messing around with it and seeing what you get. And then get yourself a uh, LFO tool so it bounces. And then we can just to reiterate resampling from our previous tech tip. We can grab that, solo that, and record that in. And there you have it, taking a vocal loop and manipulating the start time and setting up on the grid to make a step seeker step sequencer type of uh, instrument right here in uh, ableton thank you so much and we'll see you next time thanks everybody for watching commenting and indeed liking we really do appreciate all the support we get here on our sonic academy youtube channel so if you find this video super useful please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.